Okay, let's go to that one. My main question with that one, I mean, there's obviously um, the, the, the suspicion was uh, for us tabular impingement, and there clearly is. Uh, the labrum is very degenerated. It's the left one, yeah. And, and torn on the anterior superior quadrant. And my main question was, um, what's the deal with the, the insertion of the rectus of Maury's tendon there? I mean, I, I see that sometimes and I don't know really what to make of it. Because of the edema or what are you referring to? And the insertion itself, I mean, there's a little bit of liquid there, I mean, uh, the, the fluid there, and I'm, I don't know, sometimes- this Stuff like this? Yeah. This one? Yeah. Yes, this. Okay, so let me just, it's one MR and, Oh, these are just the radio. Uh, yeah, for some okay. reason, I they don't really show up with um, the I reference see. lines, okay. but yeah. Yeah, okay, so this is uh, it's not showing which kind of like technique it is. Uh, this one is. Yeah, you can just. Merge, and this one, is, so this is a T2 or PD fat set, something it, like that. Okay, and yeah, this was not an it, autogram, wasn't it? No, like, no. Yeah. Okay, good, just to make sure. Um, yeah, so we. This is just the vessel up here. This is too high. So mm -hmm. you're so down here. There's a bit of edema also here, but this is distant from what you are, are questioning. So something like this is more in the area of the bursa, so iliopsoas mm -hmm. or iliopsoas bursa. There might be some irritation here, uh, which also could be then an explanation for any anterior knee, uh, and knee pain, hip pain, uh, and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I, I would have to check for both sides. I don't think I would make anything or much out of it. I don't think this has a relevance from a clinical yeah, I don't, point of view. I don't um, think so either. I don't, I don't that, have a name. Right? Yeah, it's just there. Uh, let's go to the coronas also, just to make sure we're not dealing with some funny vessel here. I mean, it's just behind the indirect head of the rectus tendon. So we have the direct head and then the indirect head goes posteriorly mm -hmm. all the way to here. Um, I mean, if she's not having a trauma, some form of you know, i don't think stripping or anything like that is something that i would have ever okay. heard or seen um and you mentioned it in the clinical information it's more like she's active there was no injury it's more like a chronic situation okay. um yeah it's probably something similar like with the gastrocnemius tendons in the knee i would think where we also sometimes see this a little bit of fluid around the origin of yeah. the gastrocnemius tendons and typically don't make much out of it I would certainly more focus on the uh, iliacus or iliopsoas tendon here, or like this is maybe even more in the muscle rather than the actual bursa mm -hmm. itself uh, as a potential pain generator here. And obviously, yeah, like you said, right, the edema and then the controllable uh, defect. There's even an also at the tabulae uh, from the mm -hmm. X rays, which then also contributes to the uh, you know, to the over coverage focally. And there seems to be also a, like a cam deformity and then basically have this mixed combination of findings right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the other things, yeah. And she's having anterior pain or what was it anterior? Anterior sided, yeah. Yeah. And this is also, it's nice to have the full overview from both sides. I like that. So we typically do it in a coronal view, but I mean, axle is fine as well because you can yeah. combine it with the other side. So that's good. I didn't have a say in the protocol, but okay. I've grown used to it. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, probably not so much uh, of a difference whether it's corona or axial, as long as you also mm -hmm. get an idea of the other side and have this ability to make actually com compare the two things. I mean, there's also other findings on the other side here as well. Yeah. That's kind of like to be expected. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I think that's that's all for this case. Should we go to the next one?